Hello, hello, my name is Nick, aka Grizzly Mantis, and oh boy, I have a spicy one today. So, I started the day off by thinking, oh, what would I like to brew? I kind of want to try something new. I don't hide the fact that I'm a fan of Hero Precinct 1 because the card is, the card is pretty decent, so I thought I could import over to Pioneer. Well, if I'm going to make a Hero Precinct 1 deck, I'm definitely going to be dealing with a lot of multicolored spells. Hero Precinct 1 wouldn't be complete. Uh, heroic reinforcements. This is where the other half of where we want to go with this deck. So, if you're not familiar, one white, one red, two colorless sorcery. You get two one one white soldier tokens. Then, until end of turn, creatures you control get plus one plus one in haste. So basically, it's alpha strike time and mass. So, what's the best way to do this? I ended up at first. I had Esper, then I actually did a Mardu, and then I ended up landing on Jeskai of the prevalence of not only Gildan's Veto and good sideboard options, but <laughs> um, Mantis Rider, uh, Jeskai Charm, and then <laughs> our young Pyromancer is playing Hero Precinct 1 backup duty because either one of these cards out when a Hero of Reinforcements hits is going to be money. So let's go take a quick second and go over the deck. So we have Wild Slashes here, just a pair of them to deal with any early game stuff. Just it's always nice to have targeted removal. I, <laughs> I couldn't find anything gold for this slot. If anyone sees anything multicolored, let me know. An instant or sorcery that fills a similar role. Because that would be great. Right now, Wild Slash is the best option. As it's been pointed out, the best shock, the best one mana, do two damage, deal with a threat, whatever, whatever. So, Hero Precinct 1, multicolor spell, we get a 1 1 white human. Young Pyromaster. Instant or sorcery, we get a 1 1 red elemental. Definitely just bring in the tokens. Um, I have a pair of Azorius Charm for either utility. The lifelink could be relevant. It cycles for a cantrip or stops an attacking black creature. So just a good thing about playing so many gold cards is that there's just a nice amount of utility amongst them. I mean, this could do nothing. It could do everything. That's the beauty of the card. Worst case scenario, eh, draw a new card, make some tokens, whatever you need to do. Uh, Dovin's Veto. I have a pair of these in the main deck just because that's how good that card is. Sometimes you just need to stop something and make sure that your opponent cannot do a darn thing about it. Again, anything that's gold, instant, or sorcery will trigger both of our creatures. So that's definitely what I was aiming for, even though I couldn't hit it all the way. So the next thing up is Boros Charm. So when I was looking at the cards for this list and thinking about different options, this alone uh, uh, definitely was a reason why we went... You know, like I was talking about Mardo. Basically, why we went um, <laughs> why we went Boros as a base. I'm trying to remember the name of the guild when it's right in front of me. That's beautiful. Anyways, so we have an instant. We can dome our opponent for four. It can take out a planeswalker. Well, severely damaged a planeswalker. It can counter rats by making our stuff indestructible, or if something sneaks through, double strike. You know, it, stranger things have happened. I've seen all modes of this card used, but for the most part, it triggers both creatures, and again, just the utility of the card. It just it can finish games, it can take out planeswalkers, it can counter rats, and it can make combat very difficult for our opponent. Alright, hop over to the three drops. We have old spell queller. Now Spell Queller may seem a little out of place here, but I wanted, outside of Dovin's Veto, I wanted more options for the deck to be interactive. Queller himself will, of course, trigger Hero Precinct 1, not to mention the amazing little interaction with Time Raveler and Spell Queller. For those who aren't aware, if an opponent can only cast spells any time they can cast a sorcery, then something that triggers and tells them to cast a spell, it does not work. So you go Spell Quell something, follow it up with Time Raveler, bounce the Queller back to your hand, the spell will stay in exile forever because of the restrictions to party puts on timing. Nice little wombo combo there. The Time Raveler himself just being a very, very good card in this format. I do have a one of Royal Scions. This card, again, turns anything into a sufficiently large threat. It filters, it domes, it draws. This is just a good utility card to have, plus, of course, Hero Precinct 1. I have it just here as a one of. I have one more on the board just in case we need it for that control matchup. But just a very good card. You know, doesn't do, doesn't do anything to uh, affect the board. Like, there's no form of removal here. But I feel like the filtering, the high loyalty, everything, it's it's good enough to warrant a slot to try. Now, here we go to the next round of charms. We have Jeskai Charm. So, again, 
the utility of the spell being able to trigger both hero and young pyromancer while being able to either deal with a threat, so you can put a creature on top of its own library, dome an opponent or planeswalker, or again, pump your team, give them lifelink. These things all could be relevant and if they're not yet word of mouth. But for the most part, it has a purpose in every matchup. And then Mantis Rider. Now, Mantis Rider, like Spell Queller, he serves a purpose. In this case, this is if you have the Hero Precinct 1 draw, which is turn 2 Hero, turn 3 Mantis Rider, turn 4 Hero with reinforcements, that's a lot of damage quickly. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I mean, that's just a lot of damage looking quickly. That's the reason Mantis Rider's here. It may seem a little out of place, but I couldn't find a 3 mana instant or sorcery that would kind of fill his role while triggering other things, so we're only catering to the Hero Precinct 1 side of things. It may seem like a bit of a nabo and alongside Young Pyromancer, but. The card's powerful enough to just warrant the inclusion. Vigilance, Flying, Haste. I mean, it's just the all in wonder. And then, of course, Heroic Reinforcements. The main deck, relatively simple. Not the worst thing ever. Uh, mana base, pretty much, you notice there's a lack of basics here. I it really, really didn't want to not have any basics, but then again, look at the spells. We have to consistently hit those Jeskai mana, or, or those Jeskai colors, or we're just going to be screwed. So... You know, we hit all the big bidders here, and then I did sneak in some Castle Emberths to play Heroic Reinforcements number uh, five and six, kind of, you know? Just pumping the team. You know, you may have token generators. You need as much pump as you can get. Let's hop over to the board real quick. A lot of these are very familiar. Dovin's Veto, Mystical Dispute. I have uh, the fourth Time Raveler, a Dovin, and a Royal Science for those control matchups. I like Dovin because originally I had to dig through time, but... Dovin kind of fulfills the same thing uh, and also solidifies his token based strategy and generates tokens himself. It's an experimental slot. I do like Dovin. I don't think he gets too much love, so I figured, eh, toss him in as a one of. What's the worst that could happen? We got Supreme Verdicts for those Simic Food matchups where we just need to wipe the board. Uh, a Braid for Aggro and um, Smuggler's Copter, since that's probably going to be an issue. And then for our um, mono black matchup. So we first have a, a lone devout decree, which originally I had both this and surge of brightness, righteousness, but I actually decided I was going to try out apostle of purifying light. So if you haven't seen this, it's a two one pro black, it means black decks can't do anything to it, can't do a single thing. And then for two mana, you can exile cards from a graveyard. Both of these seem very very relevant against that problematic mono black matchup that's out there. There are still things to keep in mind, but it just locks up the ground and stops any of those recursive threats from coming back by exiling them. This could be god-awful. It could just be better off as one more Devout Decree and two Surge of Righteousness is what it was originally. I should probably just put that back. It does seem a little cutesy now that I say it out loud. Yeah, it's tough to say. Mono Black is everywhere except when you're playing... I mean, it's everywhere. It's winning like everywhere, everywhere. So I expected to run into it a lot. I wanted something that beat half of their discard and once resolved beat half of their board doesn't do anything against the flyers but it's pretty decent against everything else so all right you know what let's just go ahead and give it a shot like that let's just go ahead and hop into that first game see how it goes the set does look pretty darn fun uh let's go two player queue someone's waiting let's hop right in let's get some just got reinforcements go in you're gonna be all weird on me all right, roll to one. Starting off just the way we like. Um, now we have all of our colors. We have stuff to do. I kind of would love to see a... And we also have 12 damage in our opening hand. Actually, 14 damage in our opening hand. But I would kind of like to see a either of my token generators here. Depending on what my opponent does, it's either going to be Inspiring Vantage for the Wild Slash on a potential bird, or... Just Steam Vents tapped. Looks like it's just going to be Steam Vents tapped. <laughs> 18 damage in our opening hand. Interesting. Interesting. A lot of it just depends on what our opponent's up to, though. Two mana. Not two mana. Two mana. Charter course. Oh, looks like we've got some... Oh boy, Arc Light Phoenix to deal with. Go ahead and spend my advantage. Let's pass. Yeah, without a token generator, all these cards aren't going to do anything. To... Okay. The good news is, 
Draw two cards, discard two cards. Yeah, sure. I'm not going to do anything about that one. I mean, another Arclight Phoenix. Good gravy. Okay, should we start firing off Boros Charms, our opponent's face? Why not, right? You know, what's the point of all this burn if you're not going to do anything about it? Yeah, I guess we'll find out, won't we? All right, opponent, let's see what you got. She's down to 15. Yep. It's ironic because we've got so much damage in our hand. 14, 4, 8, 12, 4. Oh, yeah, that's lethal. <laughs> oh, we just got to think if we're going to be able to pull it off. All right, so he's got the he's got the third spell. He's got a wild slash me and then attack me for six. Let's do a quick down here. So I hit him for four. He's at ten. He hits me for six. I'm at fourteen. I then hit him for eight during my turn. Uh, whew! Well, that was almost the worst thing ever. Almost said the wrong thing there. Going with the burn plan. Hey, it might work. It might work. Yep. Here comes six more damage. But that's a three-turn clock, and brother, I don't have that one. Ooh, all right. So I just fire off both Boros charms. Hope he doesn't kill me on the crackback. What could kill me on the crackback? Attack for six. Attack for six. No, that won't kill me. I was thinking if he had an Ember Cleave. Eight, eleven. That's the only thing I'm scared of. Otherwise. Okay. You're up, sir. Otherwise, we're just going to Wild Slash or Spell Quiller back up. Unless, I mean, he could kill me here. I'm not sure with what, but it could happen. Okay, it ain't happening. Well, I mean, it might. If he goes Ember Cleave, that's still 8, 11. Yeah, now I'd be at 1. All right. Do you against me, my man. Sure. You're at 2. Oh, my God, the burn spell. Oh, my God, he beat me to it. <laughs> that's what can kill me. Yup. Well done, opponent. Well done. Beat me by one turn. All right, so... Oh, Devout Decree. Anything else I want here? That's not how we expected that matchup to go. Do I even want the Time Raveler? I could see Dovin. Just as a making chump blockers, but that doesn't seem too good. Hmm. That was unfortunate. I want the time rabbit. That was unfortunate. Almost had him. <laughs> Just a little too slow. Kind of had to go all in there. Couldn't have expected double fairy temper, but oh well. That's life. Taking out the Royal Scientist, because I think it might be a little slow, since we're pretty much racing. Let's see if we can get a hand that's not just a bunch of burn spells. Azorius Charm's pretty good. I would love to go first. All right, well, ask and he shall receive. Okay, well, we'll keep. This could be interesting to see how this one works out. It's the wrong dude, though. What you got? Sulfur balls tapped. Okay. Yeah, well, I guess we'll just go Spire Bluff Canal and Old Young Peasy. He might not actually do anything. He might just die very quickly, but that's okay. We don't mind that. Oh, darn. What are the odds? Advantage. 
pass the turn. This may seem silly because it is. I was about to do it, and then I remembered that, um, oh, what's his name? Thing in the ice is a thing. Yeah, that one. All right. Not feeling too bad here. Got stuff to do. Stuff to stop my opponent from doing stuff. Let's do the time warp again. Um, yeah, sure. Just keep playing threats. The more we can do to stop my opponent, the better. Oh boy. Let's see, is that 18? 3, 6, I could him for 10. Nah. Save it till next turn. Keep beating down with these young peasies. Hey, good news. I got another one. All right, let's see here. Three, six, nine. Let's find out. Look, I can kill you out of nowhere, too. What are the odds? Pow. Okay, well, I feel like any game where you draw triple spell queller is going to be pretty, pretty good. But that one wasn't bad. <sighs> yeah, I forgot about Mystical Dispute. Actually, am I locked on Q? Yes, I am. Yeah, let's bring in Mystical Dispute so we can stop that. Um, I'm actually going to take out the most expensive card. Uh, just so we can stop that, or hope to stop that turn to uh, Thing in the Ice. Kind of messes with our plans a bit. Do I want the other vetoes? I don't think so. Yeah, sure. I just take out the other. Just play the super slow game, take out the other heroic reinforcements and rely on everything else to get the job done. It's not the worst plan in the world. It's not the worst plan in the world. It's between that and like some of our token generators, but I just like Actually, if we're going to do that, we should probably just bring in Supreme Verdict. They can bring in Supreme Verdict. They got like some Jeskai Charms or something. But Jeskai Charms, nah, we'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Let's go like the more controlling route, is what I was thinking. All right, opponent, what you gonna do? Ugh, this is gonna mull. Let's see if he's he's keeping his. Uh, we're gonna mull again. Okay, well, it's better than the last one. So we'll keep. Done. Yep. Ooh, yes. Spider book for now. Okay. Hmm, unfortunate. I'm going to play the young Pyromancer because I would, if anything, I would like for him to do something about it during his, his turn to keep those shields down. Yes, perfect. Now I can resolve this Time Raveler and get this thing of the ice out of here. Ooh, or I could wait a turn. Nah, just do it now. Get it in while we can. Now things are going to slow down too. 
whatever pace I want them to. All right. What's the pony got? Seven cards in hand, six cards in hand, one of which is a thing in the ice that I don't actually have to care about anymore. Because, I mean, we've got two cards that say you don't do anything. Oops. Uh, let's turn off body yields, and let's just uh, go through this turn. So I'm going to lead with Hero of Precinct 1, I believe. Do I think he can play three spells next turn? No, oh, no, I know I can't. Now, I think I am just going to play the Steam Vents untapped and pass. Tempted to just play the hero and pass, but then I'm worried about... Uh, if he hard casts a phoenix, am I going to care about it? If he hard casts a phoenix, he's not flipping thing in the ice. He's got five cards in his hand. So then, just debating here. The alternative, play it untapped, represent both Wild Slash and Spell Queller. Or play the hero, play this tapped, and just pass and generate some value. Do I think he can play three spells next turn with four mana? Three spells with four mana in this deck? Yes, most likely so. Uh, we will go ahead and I will pay two life, but I'm not going to do anything. Because now I represent Jeskai charming it. But we'll see what he does. Let's let him put all of his effort into it first before we pop the bubble. Strategic planning. Sure. Another thing in the ice and a wild slash, all right. Yeah, so he would have been able to deal with the hero precinct one before I got anything out of it. Unfortunate, but eh, it's life. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. So that was strange. Wild slash. He already passed combat. And we're good. <laughs> and let's get in for two. Obviously, no point in committing hero precinct to the board since this guy's going to flip the bounce spell queller. The good news is the wild slash goes away when he does this because he can't recast him. Then I can recast Spell Quiller and play the Time Warp again. Opt. Sure. Let's go ahead and say no. The beauty of the Time Raveler. <sighs> yep. Opt is good. Again, make him commit, then we'll just catch charm. <laughs> just catch charm with Mystical Dispute backup, if that matters. Not sure it matters. Let's see what he does. What's he going to do with that one card? What you got, opponent? What you got? What you got? Ooh, he put it on the bottom. He did not like what he saw. Now, depending on what my opponent does here, he's got five cards in his hand. I mean, this, we're kind of committed to Jeskai Charming, this Awoken Horror, but I do want to see what he's going to do. Something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. Nah, I'm good with that dog. <laughs> nice. Let's make him commit to attacking. Attacking me or Mr. Time Raveler? Okay. We're going to have him back next turn. If 
we draw land here, nice. And we are going to go ahead and plus. And I'm just going to play old hero of precinct one. And then pass. If he replays the thing in the ice, I'm going to spell quill it. He kills it. Oh well. Value time, baby. Oh, I'm just gonna yield the return. I got nothing else to do. He could just hard cast a um Well it doesn't matter. If he kills it now, he doesn't ever get it back. Yeah, go for it. Still no phoenixes. This is pretty good. And then during my turn, yeah. gonna bounce this bad boy and just hold it all up. So it's a holiday if you didn't want to wear. Let's go ahead and always yield. Let's go ahead and get in there. Start to make an army, shall we? Hero Precinct 1. Experimentage. Pass. Now this lone spell queller is going to generate an army and stop whatever my opponent's got going on. Not the worst start ever for the deck. My first game though. <laughs> we almost almost burned him out. Very temper targeting the time raveler. Well, if I want to continue to play this game, then I need to continue to play the game. We'll always yield. Yeah, let's yield to the turn. Now, let's see here. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, he's dead no matter what. But let's do it the cool way. The mini reinforcement way. Boop. Right in the kissa, pooza! Not a bad first game. And we are back for round two. And I lost the die roll, unfortunate. I did. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and mulligan this one. Uh, ew. Well, yeah, I guess we'll keep. But ew. Yeah, I'm gonna put the other reinforcements on the bottom, if only because how much his hand. Slow this hand is. Ugh. These would have been basics, it would have been a toss up. Oh, at least his is slow too. Uh, I did go ahead and let's go ahead and yield this turn. I did go ahead and uh, change up. I did go back to the surge of righteousness and devout decree, if only because. Nice. Ho 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 ho. Oh boy, this is going to be bad for us. Uh, anyways, I thought the. As I thought about it more and more, it was like. Yeah, that whole uh, two one pro black that exiles cards from graveyard. It's it's a little cute, maybe too cute. These are probably just gonna do me better, especially if this is how this is looking already. All right, so we need to rip. Oh boy, this could be bad. It could be dead before anything even happens. The good news is nothing here has trample. The bad news is I'm not doing anything. I gotta do stuff. I'm missing land drops. Then the Cesorius charm is gonna be good. Sorry, trying this Regisaur, get some mad card advantage. Spawn of Mayhem. Oh boy. This is my sideboard again. Alright, bringing in the Verdicts, bringing in the Surge, bringing in the Crowd, Decree. Definitely I'll bring in the Abrade. Yeah. This is gonna hurt. He didn't do it though. Interesting. Yeah, my only hope here is to draw lands and draw enough stuff to stop him, even if I do have to go to five. What do we got? <laughs> uh, then if you have 10 or less life. So let's see. My plan right now is to Azorius Charm, the Registrar, Chump the Brawler, and then I die to Spawn of Mayhem. I can Azorius Charm the Spawn of Mayhem and go Chump Chump, but then I'm pretty much dead. Yeah, now that was just too clunky of a start for us. All right, 
All right, let's go ahead and follow that plan. Spring verdicts coming in. All of our anti stuff comes in. Uh, let's see, Mr. Time Raveler. You're going to be a little too slow here. Royal Scions. We'll put you over here in the maybe category. Actually, yeah, maybe category. Wild wow, Session looked like it was going to do much. Just get rid of the vetoes. So I take out the. Is there anything I want to take out over the. Royal Scions. I like the chess guy terms. I feel like heroic reinforcements we're gonna have to stay keep pace. Yeah, that was a hand we were not beaten, especially not quickly. Um it's between Jet Royal Science and a Boros charm. Alright, we'll go with Boros charm. If only because it allows us to race. Alright, let's see if we can do a little better this time. He just came out like guns a-blazing. Not much we could do in that situation, but now at least we have a ton of different removal, ton of different exile effects, and none of his stuff has trample, with the exception of Spawn of Mayhem. So maybe, just maybe, we'll be able to chump block the crap out of it and get in with our other creatures, but... Hmm. Do I want the Abrades over the Wild Slash, or even over some of the, like, Boros Charms? Maybe. I didn't see Smuggler's Copter, but it would be very bizarre if they weren't there. I was kind of want Dovin, but... Another reason I'd want Dovin would be just a steady stream of chump blockers, and that's not what we want to be doing right now. Life gain, chump blockers. This is going to be either super grindy or we're just going to be dead super quick. The good news is my opponent, if you didn't notice, he kind of empties out his hand very quickly, so the Supreme Verdicts could actually be pretty good at knocking all his momentum away. But then again, we only saw a little bit of what he was up to, and it was big, dumb, cruel. Are you kidding me? It just doesn't do anything, but it at least has removal. Hands like this, I think, is it good enough? Four three guy now. Regisaur would just make us cry. Oh, then we run into this. Well, we gotta keep it. Not going down anymore. Uh Boros Charm's probably the weakest, even though it's the only card here that does something. Let's go clips out retreat. Yuck. Should have known it would go like all land, all colors to minimal land, minimal colors. If clips out retreat burning me. Oh, well, we got Young Pyromancer. It gives us a little bit of hope. This might just be a quick one, though. My opponent. Also mulliganed. That's nice. Awfully sporting of your opponent. A swamp. Alright, well. Let's go Young Pyromancer and let's pass. Now we're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs. We are literally on the 2-1 plan. Yuck. Come on, the triple blue source. Mountain. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. You know what's great about that? He's in a, the Phoenix. Yep. All right, Blue Source, whenever you're ready, I would love to see you. No. Draw. Well, get rid of the big one. Oh, yeah. Probably needs one. I know. <laughs> 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 oh my god yeah we just can't we just can't we just have to hope that there's an untapped blue source hiding under that non untapped blue source because otherwise we just we have nothing we'll take another turn off Ugh. get our face pounded in by a potentially spawn of mayhem or riding regis sword and I'll watch my opponent does nothing and it's like I won't see a blue source the rest of the game <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, it does seem counterintuitive to hit the um, with the exile effect to not hit the flame wake phoenix the first chance we get, but I just we need as much time as we can get here. That's why I went after the four three. All right, three cards in hand. Show us what we got. Always oh, cycling, still cycle, double cycle. So we'd have been fine with that. Now we wouldn't have because it's still a time walk. I'll take it. Let's go, Manus Rider. All right. We got time. It's probably got a handful of removal, but that's okay. I will 100% block this Flame Wake Phoenix, even at the... Well, actually, maybe not. He has three cards in his hand. He didn't instantly remove it. You know what? I won't. Okay, I'm just going to use the turn then. Now if he like, I don't know. I just feel like if he had, the only kind of removal he'd have is that he'd either use it first main to get rid of the middle rider, or it's like a wild slash where he needs the flame work damage to get through. This way, depending on what my opponent does, we can keep up Spell Queller, Jeskai Charm, and have the ability to um, continue beating with this rider. Yep, so he didn't have another Jeskai Charm. Interesting. Plus, at this rate, I think we might be catching up to him on that clock. I'm just holding up Spell Queller now. Mountain. All right, so he's at least got a mountain in his hand. Good to know. This turn I will block, because now if he has something... Polygon's Command. Well, let's attempt... Spell Queller. See what happens. So that's what he had last turn, huh? Do it with it on the stack. You know you want to. I'm just gonna take two. I have a feeling it might be Boros Char or excuse me, Jeskai Charming. Hmm. I'll just do it while I can. Or just get him for seven. Half his life total. Why not? We got the wild slash to kill the Phoenix if we care. Then anything he plays. We can charm. Seems reasonable. Yeah, I can just wild slash this phoenix. That's nice. We're back up to 17. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. All it took was my opponent breaking for a while. It's a good feeling. And us drawing a blue source. I'm actually not going to shock, or excuse me, Wild Slash, this Flame Wake Phoenix. I'm going to take the two damage, because as it stands, the Wild Slash represents... Well, we have Lethal in a couple different ways, but the Wild Slash represents Lethal with what's on the board. I think I'm okay to take two damage, but then again, my opponent's deck can do some nutty stuff. We'll see what happens. Here we go. All I got to click top or treat open. In this case, I am going to just discard the Wild Slash. Yep. Well, we'll see what he does, actually. Oh, he's at 7. I could just not care. Uh, yeah, I'll just not care. So I'm not just yielding through the turn. I'm not going to block. That Colagon's command was just a way to make it so the dude got through. That seems weird. There we go. He's got other stuff to do. That sucks. But that's life. All right.
I'm just gonna pass. We'll wait and see what he does. I don't think I want a Supreme Verdict over just a plain white Phoenix. Let's wait until he has something else going on. Okay, he does not. Baiting if I want to just Jeskai Charm to cost him a, or just make him spend a draw, but that just seems so bad. Don't quite think I want to dome him yet. Okay. It's another turn to just say okay. Let's see what he draws. He drew a land. Okay, well, the spell quiller is just going to get out there. <laughs> I'm just going to yeah. do a land. We're going to just go. Do 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 do. Mr. Spell Quilla. Just a 2 3 flash. Nothing to be scared of. Hope I don't regret this, but I really want to kill him next turn with the Jeskai Charm. Like, regardless of what happens to the Spell Quiller. Yep. Blue, red, white. All right, let's do this again. Anything need to change? Hmm. I like the slashes. I like the removal. I like all the removal. I didn't see any. I still didn't see any smugglers' copters. Doesn't mean they're not in there. I just didn't see them. Anything else I need to change? I still like the abrades, I guess. Boros Charm's probably a little weak, but is it better off as anything else? I'm on the draw. Uh, Dovin is interesting. I think Royal Science is just probably better. I can trample, filter. Now just run it back. Just run it back. No need to do anything crazy. Oh, I didn't realize my opponent was complaining about all the lands he was drawing. Yeah, it happens, man. It happens to the best of us. Okay, this hand seems reasonable. We got stuff to do. We got a curve. We got heroic reinforcements. Okay. Oh, my lead on Sacred Foundry. Mountain. Ah, okay. Get you over here with my three drops. We'll just go Sacred Foundry. Nope. Alright, so this is going to be a bit more aggressive of a matchup. Really wish we had our. Oh, anything. Really wish we had our. A devout decree or something. We're just going to yield to the turn. I got nothing to do this turn. A bigger question here. Never mind. I can do both, can't I? Okay. So falls and pass. This get this ability only if you attacked with a creature this turn. Duck. Dragon Skull Summit. Bone Crusher Giant. Got it. Hmm. Do I care about this champion? This comes back next turn. I don't think I do. I'll just say okay. Okay. We'll just go Glacial Fortress and pass. 
see what my opponent's got. Worst case scenario, we need a surge of righteousness for a neutral amount. Take two, gain two, and then take two here. But we'll see what he's got. Kind of threw out that Bone Crusher Giant without hesitation. Yep. No missing that trigger. And down to 14. So we're just going to go ahead and leave that hollowed fountain, and we'll see what happens. So is he typing again? No, he's not typing. We're just waiting. Four cards in hand. What do you got? Another Bone Crusher Giant. Well, that's annoying. Another heroic reinforcements. That's not doing anything right now. Um... Yes, I'm just gonna go Hollow Fountain tapped. Pass. It represents Spell Queller and Jeskai Charm. Jeskai Charm, this guy at least take two, which is kind of annoying. Kind of need either of our token generators here to get ahead of this Blood Soak Champion because he's just a 2 1. But unfortunately, I'm not seeing. Anything. Here we go. Let's call some spells. Sure. Yeah, this one might not be going too hot for us. We definitely need to find something. Mm. The Boros Charm is the weakest of everything in my hand. Everything else at least does something. Spring Verdict off the top would be nice. Pretty much another spell quota. Hmm. Got the other bone crusher giant in hand. I just played the heroic reinforcements as a chump block. The arc. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Mm, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Not looking good for the home team. Definitely needed to see a... Yeah. Definitely needed to see a token generator at some point here. Uh, whether it was Young Pyromancer or... Young Pyromancer or Hero Precinct 1 or a Supreme Verdict would have been fantastic too. All right, well, let's try this again. Now I wish I had the Brow's uh, uh, Charm, but we'll see what he's got. Two cards left. Uh, what a blowout it would have been to go Boros Charm, make him indestructible and not be terrible. Let's see, so. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, we definitely needed to see something there, and we did not, so. Oh well, them's the breaks. Them's the breaks. Just hop right back in. Got one ready. Uh, yes, I would love to. <laughs> We're good. Okay, that's a little better. Uh, no white mana and a handful of white cards. Ugh. Young Pyromancer that doesn't do anything. Actually. Alright. 
All right, we got two turns to drone weight mana. Otherwise, we're doing nothing this game. Man, mana base. It's just been hating me. Yeah, three color mana, though. Yep, what are we getting? Ooh, an island. White. Just got your... I meant white mana, not white spell. I didn't specify. That was on me, actually. <laughs> so now the real question is, what's my opponent up to? Ah, okay. Oh, now my hand apparently does nothing. Just phenomenal. Declaration in stone. Missing his third land drive. You too, huh, bro? Uh, I guess we'll just crack this clue, see if I hit a white source. I did not. You lose her. Yay. Yay! I don't mind being beaten by my opponent's deck, but do I have to get beaten by my own? White mana. Yay! I mean, that's all I got. What do you got? Opt. Sure. Opt isn't bad. Okay. Another opt. What do you do? Put it on top? He did put it on top. I wonder if he put the other opt on top. He, again, put it on top. Okay. Hmm. Turn, I'm going to turn him to go for this spell coiler. Get something out there, start doing stuff. Oh. Taking all the damage. May seem may seem odd, but I am gonna go ahead and bait the counter spell with Hero Precinct one. Because I think resolving this time Raveler will be pretty good. Hmm. Or just got the sweeper, that would work too. Hmm. If he's got the sweeper, then we'll just resolve the time rather than next turn. Otherwise, I'll dome him for four with just guy turn, just guy charm at the end of his turn, and we'll go from there. Yeah, if he's got the supreme verdict, then I can just blast him a charm, untap, play. Yep. Nope. Huh. Didn't see that one coming. Need white. Need you to make white for me. Thank you. All right, so in the turn, we're going to blast him with Jeskai Charm, make a token. Hopefully, he sees this as fit to counter, and then we can either lead with actually heroic reinforcements. Reinforcements might just do it. So, never mind. And then you'll do the turn. Okay. Let's do some math. So, 17. So, let's see. Four. Yep. We got four. <sighs> Four, eight, and for 14, almost enough, but almost is not enough enough. Absorb. I think I'm just going to, first off, attack. I think I am just going to play the Time Raveler and bounce his search for his counter. Play that or just hold up Spell Quiller.
I hold up Spell Queller, there's a very good chance it could get countered, but I don't know if they play main deck, which one trigger. Time Raveler, Spell Queller. Time Raveler, Spell Queller. I need two. Veto cost. Veto is the only thing he could do to me. That's eh, okay. Good news is. Yeah. Let's play the time rivaler. Yeah, let's just go ahead and bounce that bad boy. Draw card. Nice. Now we're in good shape. A beautiful vault. Hmm, do I care about this? Nah. Not really, I intend to kill my opponent. He tapped the mutavolt anyways. He's testing me. Granted. Nah. Well, nah, I'd rather just kill you. Bzz. What are you going to wish for? All right, so in this matchup, obviously we want Mystical Disputes, we want the Royal Science, we want the Vetoes. We basically want all of this good stuff. What do we want to get rid of? The Azorius Charms aren't going to be doing us too much. Same with the Jeskai Charms. And then two of the heroic reinforcements. So this way, we kind of shift a little bit into like play a token generator and then just protect the crap out of it. We have mystical disputes, we got planeswalkers kind of back, or, and then we're just going for We have the potential for the wombo combo kill, but Borostrom, yep, should be good. We're just kind of playing Star Spangled Slaughter on this one. That got mutable. That's random. Although I have seen uh, Azorius List, Azorius Control play, uh, oh, what's it called? Um, Field of the Dead, which was cool. Oh, look at that. It's a handful of nothing. Keep the handful of nothing, knowing that whatever he mulligans to is probably worse. <laughs> like clockwork. My opponent mulligan? No, he gets to keep all seven. Well, can't keep a one lander. Oh boy. Sure thing. This hand is garbage. So, what's our plan here? Oh, I gotta put two cards on the bottom, don't I? Ugh. God. All right, well, good news is we'll be on the play for game three. <laughs> Although, to be fair, it's not like they do anything quickly. Ugh. Should have put the secret foundry on the bottom. Something sadder than a young pyromancer who just doesn't have anything to do. Yep. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh boy. Oh, I got two more lands until I can actually stop his. <laughs> So it represents some blue mana, shall we? <sighs> all right, all right, all right. Well, this is fantastic. This is... 
Should I have kept the all land do nothing hand? No, I wouldn't have done anything. At least I've gotten him to two. You always look on the bright side, right? Always look on the bright side of life. Mute of all. There goes my beats. <laughs> now there really goes my beats. Draw. <laughs> Oh boy. Do I just resolve it just to resolve it? Can't even get through a fay of wishes. At least it gets it on the board. Yeah, it just doesn't do anything. I'd rather just represent counter spells than a. Man, my Mantis Rider is getting bricked by a fay of wishes. Ugh, yuck. Look at his hand. I think I'm going to get out-tokened by a Castle Ardenvale. He liked it. Fable Pass, sure. Yep. Yep. Damn, it's the worst that could happen. Well, that is something. Just play the Mantis Rider. Just to play it. It's gonna do anything. No. Jeez, what is going on in my hand? Well, I guess I could have played it to prevent that from happening. Or at least attempt to prevent that from happening. <laughs> Sacred Fungi. <laughs> oh, how many lands do we have to draw? So many good cards in our deck. And we draw these. But the good news is my opponent isn't doing anything. A 20 turn clock is a long one. Yep, yep. 19. So it begins. So it begins. Mantis Rider. Time Raveler. <sighs> Problem is, I can only plus it. So otherwise it just dies immediately. So that's what I gotta do. Yield through the turn and plus. Oh, come on deck, give me some goods. I need something here. Need something, something good. <sighs> don't ask me what that is, because I don't know. Spell cooler would be nice. Um, oh, here we go. Mutavolt. All right. Getting at it with everything. I will trade. I will trade the Pyromancer for the Mutavolt. Turns my Pyromancer into a two mana Stone Rain. That ain't bad. That's not the worst. Draw. <laughs> Don't do anything about this Fey. Just play the timely or the heroic reinforcements and just start attacking. Been hilarious. We put the Pyromancer. Been three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'd have dome my opponent for nine out of nowhere. 
Otherwise, what do I have going for me? I can play it as an instant and say, gotcha to this human token. That's something, I suppose. Nope. All right. Yeah. If I'm not attacking, I guess it doesn't matter when I play it. Problem is, this search is about to flip. Nothing I can do about it, though. Yep. 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 Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. All right. Well, I got like two turns. Mm. Yeah, that's what I'm up to. What we do with ourselves. Yuck. <laughs> timing here. I'm just loving the timing here. Missed it. All right, we got a boogie. We got a boogie. Boogie, boogie, boogie. We go racing approach with the second sun. Oh, please discard two cards and bounce everything. I was just digging through time. Not much I can do about that. Unfortunate. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, okay. Yeah, so pretty much dead. That was good. Can't do anything anymore, so we're good. So he's at 26. So what would it take? I don't know. I honestly don't. This one's probably over. Yeah, probably. Let's see what happens. Yep. Okay, well, hmm. Got a Boros Charm. That's it. Kill this time raveler. Kill this time raveler, and that's it. <sighs> the second so yep hmm. okay <laughs> okay wow that was pathetic so what did we learn um we learned nothing we learned not to keep bad hands and mold five okay let's try this again Ugh, god that was bad Good gravy. That was bad. <sighs> so many cards we could have drawn, and yet we drew nothing. We drew lands and lands and lands. Block. The heroic reinforcements probably was wrong. If I'd kept the young pyromancer around, there might have been a path to victory, but I can't imagine that we would have killed him in time, especially since he had the blocker. <sighs> Fay of Wishes. Yuck. Okay. I would love to, actually. Yeah, that one. Okay. Okay. Um, we need white mana, but we'll keep. Start off with the Castle Vantress. Needing white mana. I'll opt probably. Okay. Now we're in business. Spell snare. No, I'm just kidding. <sighs> well, we have certain things taken care of or handled, I should say. 
deck and stone would be a beating, but eh. Oh, great. Oh, Fate Wishes. That works. Okay. I'm just going to play this game again. At least I have spell quality, at least I have stuff to do this time. Hmm. Oh, wow, slash. No reason not to just start making tokens, start building. Nothing crazy, just a wild slash. It's going to pass. Nope. Ugh. Fay of wishes. Crazy. Sure. Opt. And I'm talking about Boros Charm. I'm just going to continue building up an army. Maybe even double Boros Charm, but probably not. Bowman would have been sweet. Just back away. Yep. Keep getting in there. It's going to have a nice time for heroic reinforcements, but meh, what are you going to do, right? Okay, let's pass. Now he's down to eight. We may just do nothing. Another fan of wishes. The idea is another absorb, probably pretty good. Dating, what do I care more about? Boros charming him? Hmm. Let's attempt the spell color. Hmm. What's that coming? Oh, sure. Excellent. Okay. Kind of need to hit something that wasn't that there, but that's okay. So he's at eight. If I attack him with everything, I think he's dead. Let's find out. Box here, takes four. Okay. It's the power of Boros Charm. Sometimes you just can sneak ahead and stay ahead. Granted, I should stop talking just in case I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right. Well, that was pretty fun. This was fun. Going forward, 
I do think we can trim one heroic reinforcement. It'd be nice to get some card draw in here, but I just don't know where there's any space for it. I mean, the deck's kind of just as is. Yeah, I could see trimming one heroic reinforcements, but then again, maybe not. It's a really good card. It's kind of the point of the deck. We never did get to see, like, the super aggressive, like, hero, rider, reinforcements. The mana base also could use some more fine tuning. Never got to see the Castle Embraths and. Well, no, actually, they did win us one game. To be fair, they did win us that one game, so. Eh. Other than that, yeah, the mana base probably needs a little more work. As for the rest of the deck, it seemed to work lovely. Like, I love, I just love the interaction between Tafari and Spellqueller. It's like one of my favorites of all time. And we saw it shine in that one matchup where it just kept against uh, Phoenix, kept playing it, bouncing it, replaying it, bouncing it. Oh, it was just such a beautiful thing. I mean, my opponent helped with this thing in the ice. I don't think he understood that interaction, but that's okay. Uh, otherwise, it does feel like, I mean, you really need one of your two drops. Like, you really need to just hit the ground running and then just start creating value on the board leading up to the heroic reinforcements uh, deployments but other than that uh, the sideboard i liked we didn't we had one opportunity to see dovin in action but it didn't matter so again this is a variable slot you can do with it as you see fit i kind of like the idea of a token generator that kind of plays the part of a dig through time kind of you know but it might just have been a little too wonky. This might just end up needing to be something else. Uh, the rest of the sideboard I liked. I do think I, I like these better than the two one pro black guy, as cool as you are, Mr. Apostle Purifying Light. You are pretty cool, but eh, eh, I think I like these better. Everything else seems solid. Like, I like this sideboard. Everything here seemed good. Uh, the biggest thing here, I would say, is... What was that? That was nothing. Uh, the biggest thing, just got to work out this mana base a little bit more. Eight, nine, nine blue, ten blue, eleven blue, twelve blue. See, there's enough blue sources in theory. I think that was just bad beats. Those. I mean, we did mulligan to five. I can't be too upset that I never saw blue mana, but we did eventually. Other than that, this seems solid. This seems fun, and I think I am going to be revisiting this maybe on a night when I'm streaming live. Take it to a actual full tournament. Seems like a fun time. So, if you're in the mood for something different, give it a shot. Give me your input. As always, like, subscribe, all that. YouTube nonsense, and I will see everybody El Ator. Oh, hey, you made it to the end. Congratulations. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it a train wreck you just couldn't look away from? Feel free to give me a little bit of feedback down there. If you liked it, you can hit the button to say like, subscribe, whatever. I'm sure I'll leave a couple links, probably to my Twitch, if you ever want to catch it live. I usually stream on the weekends. Usually, yeah. Otherwise, shoot me an email, shoot me a deck list, shoot me a feedback, I don't care. I love other people, it's a great thing. We're just gonna take it easy. Bye. Bye.